an interesting application of the Nernst equation um, is something called the concentration cell. So in this problem you have um, two uh, electrodes that are exactly the same. You have a nickel electrode over here, you have a nickel electrode over here. But the difference is that they're immersed in solutions that have different concentrations. The same solution, just a different concentration. You have a different amount of um, different concentration of nickel two plus ions in each of these cells, in, into these compartments. So you basically get a difference in potential energy based on these concentrations. The E naught cell is going to be zero, right? The cathode minus the anode, that part's going to be zero because it's the same, it just has the same cell potential um, on, on both sides. But the, the electrode does the same reduction potential. Um, but because you have this difference in concentration, Q will have a number. And so when you look back at the Nernst equation, right, you had your uh, E cell equals E naught cell minus 0.0592 over N times the log Q. So because of this part of the equation, right, over here on this side, um, this will be zero, but this will have some kind of number. And so because of this concentration difference, because of the Q, you actually get a, you can register a, a difference in cell potential. So let's try to calculate that for this picture. Now, Q is going to change over the course of the reaction. As the reaction proceeds, eventually these concentrations are going to be equal, and then the potential will, difference will, will no longer exist. But let's try to calculate it when we have it over here. Um, so E naught cell, we said that's going to be zero. So if you look at these two reactions, right, you have the um, same thing happening on both sides. You have nickel 2 plus going to uh, nickel solid, and this is two electrons, right? That is the gaining electrons. That's the reduction half reaction. That's the cathode. So that concentration over here is uh, one molar. And then if you had the other, other side, if you look at the other side, two electrons over here. This is the oxidation. This is the anode half reaction. And that's that concentration. It's one times 10 to the negative three. So if you added these reactions up, um, you could just, you could see that the cathode and the anode. Okay, so E naught of the cathode and the E naught of the anode. Because right here they tell you it's negative 0 0.28, negative 0 0.28. So E naught cell, we don't really have to do this, I think you can see it, minus a negative 0.28, um, gives you zero, right? So the E naught cell, the, under standard conditions, that would be zero, right? There's no difference in potential energy, that makes sense. Now, to solve for your Q, though, if you look at this reaction here, it just, we're not gonna, we'll just cancel the electrons here for a second, but what you'll see, we have nickel two plus that has a concentration of one molar, and nickel solid, don't really worry about the nickel solid, it's not going to be in there anyway. I just want to show you where the concentrations are, where they're coming from. And this is 1 times 10 to the negative 3. So the 1 times 10 to the negative 3, that's on the product side. So Q is 1 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by the reactants, which is just 1. So it's the dilute solution over the concentrated solution. That's how you'll get the reaction um, to progress in the forward direction. Dilute over, dilute over concentrated. Um, so this just becomes 1 times 10 to the negative 3. Um, the number of electrons being transferred, right, n is 2, and our E cell is 0. So here's our E cell, this is our Q, and we said n equals 2. So now we can plug all that into oops, this equation up here, and I get Ooh, gray, okay. E cell is E naught cell 0, 0.0 minus magic number 0. 0.0592 over 2, right, because n is 2. What did I say? There you go, n is 2, uh, times the log of Q, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 3. So when you work all that out, you should get that your E cell, again, this is E cell under non standard conditions, is positive. It's point 0, 0.888 volts, which you'll notice it's actually given to you in the figure <laughs> at the end. All right, right there, you have point zero eight eight. I don't always give you the answers, but when I do, I you know hide them in the figure. Um, so there you go. So that is your cell potential under non-standard conditions. This is a concentration cell. Uh, the only the only reason why you're getting any cell 
uh, difference in cell potential is because these concentrations are different on both sides. The, this is when the electrodes are exactly the same, right? I have a nickel electrode, nickel electrode. But these concentrations are different. And so you need to have the dilute on this side and the concentrated on that side in order for this to, 